Okay, what is the most significant national security threat to the United States? Oh, we have many security experts here, so I guess that makes sense as a question from Hank H. The most significant national security threat? Pigeon's genitals. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, I, I would argue it's education, because we focus on stuff oh. that doesn't affect an American family. We spend a lot of money on ISIS. It's what I did for a living. They're going to fight for Baghdad. There's a small sliver that might show up in New York City. But when we call ourselves exceptional, we don't give ourselves the capability to say, how does our educational system, the thing that will bring money to a kid's life, joy to a kid's life, it'll keep them out of prison, how does it compare to the Europeans and the Asians? How do we give an inner city, kid a ch inner city kid the chance I had? And the answer is, we don't. And so. Uh, uh, unexpected answer. Well, I'll, 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 I'll see your education surprise <laughs> answer and raise you <laughs> the environment. I think that's the biggest, and by the way, you know who backs me up on that? The Pentagon. I'm not saying they say it's the biggest, but the Pentagon is very much on the page that the environment and what we're doing to it causes the kind of instability that is a national security threat, and they have said so, and Obama's quoted them. So I'd, say, I'd say long term. I'd say long term, China's the biggest threat because it's the only country with a global strategy. They're spending over a trillion dollars. They're trying to align countries towards themselves. Ultimately, it undermines the dollar, and that's going to affect all of us. But in the near term, it's the single most powerful individual in the world, Vladimir Putin, uh, who is in decline and very unhappy and wants to punish us and the potential for costs in the next six, He's 12 He's personally months. in decline or the country? The country's in decline and he is controlling so much power, his ability to do things that would truly cause. So do you think he'd do something crazy and irrational? Uh, I think that, um, well, I, I look, I, 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 I think, think so. we're punishing him and I think his reaction is he wants the Americans to understand that that's not costless for us. And so if you ask me where you'd have an integrity cyber attack against a big public institution or a bank, the sort of thing that could really lead to a, the, a surprise that we don't but want like, to this, this is the This is the guy who sold a missile defense system, right, to, to Iran. Yeah. I mean, so this is a guy who is willing to take some risks and doesn't, wor doesn't worry about being an international pariah. And he went into well, the Ukraine. Okay, but... Without blinking. But we invaded <laughs> Iraq. You know, we invaded Afghanistan uh, uh, to this idea that we Sovereign should, country. Yeah. I mean, uh, we to, have to a right point figures, right. fingers at, at Putin for invading Ukraine, I don't think he should do it either. But first of all, it's not our problem. Second of all, the entire Palin family working as a team couldn't find it on a map. That's right. <laughs> and the... The principle I said before about let the uh, you know Muslims take care of the Muslim issue, I think goes for Europe too. Europe is very rich, remember? Yeah, we but they're there. not going to do it. Very they've rich. Got... Let them take care of Crimea. That's their backyard, not ours. We make everything our problem, right? Though, except for taking care of the people in this country, right? You know, I, to me, one of the biggest threats is the sense of hopelessness that is going on in this country with regards to community and police relations in the African American community. And the fact that, you know, America's chocolate citizens are crying out yet again in terms of the injustices. And when people give up on a system, we have a problem. And we're seeing that hope. But, but you know why that is? Because I think it's because campaign politics. They can't, the Republicans can't run on the economy because uh, Mitt Romney said that he would get unemployment down to 6%, 6 by 2016, yeah. and Obama got it down to 5.5. Five. Five, five. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of hard to run on that. I promise so I what do they have? They always have the Trump card, scare the shit out of people. Yeah. War is always the Republicans' Trump card, and it works. Yeah. I, I promise I you the Republicans are going to run on the economy. With, with 11% really? unemployment, when you take into account people who are looking for jobs and are part-time sure. jobs or have checked out, it's still 11%. That's why two-thirds of the American people think we're on the wrong track. Well, Republicans are... Two-thirds of the people, by the way, think we're still in a Obama's, recession. Obama's weakest numbers are on foreign policy. He's bounced over 50%, but on foreign policy, he's in the 30s. He's like 36%. Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State for four years under Obama. The Republicans see that that is going to right. be one of their easy ways. Because Americans I, understand foreign policy. Not at all. So well. <laughs> but I guess if the, if, the, if the earth stops spinning, they, you're going to blame that on, on, on Hillary Clinton, too. I mean, get over it. I mean, a lot of these folks that are running for president right now on the Republican side are, are some of them are in the Congress right now. Some of them were former governors. And what in the heaven did they do 
well, to I think, lift and to make things better. Well, I they think have your, power. In your home state, for example, the unemployment rate's it. been lower than national level since Kasich has been but, in, but, right? But, so people but a lot of the tech... You know, Perry, you could attack Perry, but Perry, Perry was a job machine down in Texas for a long Are time. Are you kidding me? Are you, I mean, seriously? Well, look at the about numbers. one fourth one, of the, the children 30, are living in poverty right I'm just now. Talking, I'm talking about jobs. 30% of, yep. the, of the net new jobs created in America were created down in Texas. Well, well, so, so you, gotta, well, you, can, yeah. you can criticize them for other things, but in well, terms of job creation, Republicans have a pretty good Part of that is story. because he poached those jobs from other states, which you can't really do when you're president. No. It doesn't, when you're president, yeah, no. you have to think about all the states. Yeah. yeah. But let's say, there, there are huge issues out there which people understand. Stagnant wages for 10, for 10 years in, ter in terms yeah. of in inflation, just median income stagnant for 10 years. Texas this is during the Obama years, by the way, and Bush years. So I, listen, let's, let's get away from one party or the other and let's fix the problem. Right. But a let's, lot let's of these focus folks, on rising, but would rising you not interest. agree that a lot of these folks who are running for president right now, particularly on the Republican side of the ledger, had opportunities and spaces to do those things, and they have not done it. They whisper sweet nothings in the ears okay, of the, the American same thing people, about and then they want to, to be the president of the United States. That does, doesn't But you can say the same thing about Hillary me. Clinton and foreign policy, right? So the question I mean, is, like, where are we going from here? How are we going to get a growing economy? How are the people in this audience, both electronically and physically, and so, the, the, how are they going to get a good job where they're going to be able to afford to have their own home? There's 20 million American families that pay more than 50% of their income and rent. Well, they don't have enough money part, to save to of, buy a home. Part of it would be raise the minimum wage. Amen to but, that. but none of the Republicans who are decrying these right. days the wealth gap are then for raising the right. minimum wage. Now, I've been right. on both So it's, it's I, kind of crazy. I, I, that. I, they, people they, need they, a lot more than minimum wage. That polls yes, they well. Do. Yeah. But yeah. that would start. I mean, you know, right. there's a lot of Absolutely. people who just live Close to like how animals live. How can you live if on and 725? Bill, I an come hour. from one of those families, Bill, and I know what it's like. You know, I had a mother who died at the age of 42 years old, aneurysm burst in her brain, and she died on the system of welfare. And nobody grows, nobody says that when I grow up, I want to be poor. I want to be on the system. Woo, food stamps, yeah. that's the life for Sweet me. Sweet deal. Everybody right. has yeah. hopes and dreams, and we need to focus more of that attention. You know, yeah, we got to watch ISO and everything that's going on in the world, but we need to focus more of our attention on helping Americans live out their greatest greatness. Let's make some investments here in our country. Okay, should the, uh, should the army, oh, very apropos for this week, should the army allow transgender people to serve openly? Yes. Well, there's no why? other way they can serve. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's pretty clear. Right. Yeah. Um, it's not a don't ask, don't tell sort of thing. Right, right? that's right. over, right? That's over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But the army, like, makes you, you know, uh, get a crew cut and, and you know, uh, is it going to work for, for Caitlyn? I, 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 she could wear her hair up. Uh, well, okay. who says Caitlyn wants to go? No, I'm just saying, that just, should they be allowed? I, yeah. If I say anybody. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if we're going to continue yes. to do this where we're not going to have a draft and any, anybody who wants to show up, it's thrilling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's true. It's really unbelievable. And then, and then, and, and then, you, you, you know, then afterwards, once they get out, then they'll, you know, be, then they'll have to deal with the VA, which is going to be a big oh. fucking problem. Right. <laughs> don't get you started. Please don't. <laughs> Lewis Black has comedy chains with the advent of social media. <laughs> That's what this person wants no. to know. The Peter R. No, it, it's always the fucking same. It's funny or it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think maybe I think what he means is like a lot of comics just doing trying out new material in comedy clubs have gotten in trouble because comedy clubs we always thought was a place where you experiment. Maybe you go over the line because sometimes you have to go over the line to find where the line is. Yeah. But a number of comics have gotten in trouble because now everybody tweets yeah. and they and they. That's true. Yeah. And, and it and it's. But it's have you found it, that? Yeah. I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah, neither you know, do I. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean we're, we're yeah. inoculated. We're old. Yeah. yeah. We, they can't do anything to us. Yeah. I mean, and a, lot of, but, and a lot of the people who come see me won't remember I said it the last time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do we have an affordable housing crisis, Rick Lazio? Absolutely. What should we do about yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. sure we do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's a huge problem. The amount of people that, that are what they call rent burdened, people paying more than 30% of their income, has doubled over the last 50 years as a percentage. So in real terms, as doubled. 
Um, I mentioned before, 20 million American families paying more than 50% of their income for housing, both home ownership and rental. I mean, that, that means that people, and they're, they're insecure, they've got to move multiple times, getting to your point about education, if kids get pulled out of a school three and four times, every time you've got to move out of your house, you are disrupting their social life, they're falling behind in class, they give up, they feel, I mean, it's just, you, this you, is you all, know, like getting... One, one reason why there's a housing crisis in a lot of big cities, it's because a lot of the space goes to people, not just in the top 1%, in the top 0.1%, mm-hmm. who, who buy these New, New York places. City, London, yeah, where yeah, I just... Yeah. Look, full of apartments that are empty almost all year long. They're second, third, fourth, fifth homes for the, for the rich people who don't need them, don't use them most of the time. That's, that's where the space we, is. We, we, spend, we, spend, also spend, we spend $200 billion, federal government does, on housing. Most of it goes to people making over $100,000 a year. But shouldn't we tax, I mean, we, we have, if you make $250,000 <laughs> or anything over that, there's just one rate. Shouldn't there be a higher rate for if you make a billion or 10 billion? Right. Should, should yeah. someone making $250,000 be taxed the same as somebody making $5 billion? I, I mean, Nixon, that socialist, the tax rate was 70%. Eisenhower was closer to 90. You know, people making that kind of money cannot spend that kind of money if they tried in their lifetime. We could use that money. We need to have a different kind of tax rate. But I don't think that's something a Republican would ever support. Depends on, it depends on what the trade-off would be. What would the money be used for? If you could, if you could say the money was going to be spent on something that would be What would the money be used for? I don't think it depends on the trade-off. No, I do. I care about the trade-off. No, I, I mean, a, this is really about... I can get you guys a list. He just <laughs> mentioned, yeah, he just <laughs> right. mentioned education. Yeah, but if uh, you, infrastructure. Put it, put it infrastructure. Uh, if, if, yeah. if the money went for deficit reductions so that... And that. I think there'd be people that would be open to that. I think if the money went for anything you wanted, I think that one of the most important issues for the billionaires that are coming out with the Republicans is to ensure the tax rate stays as low as possible for them. That is like, if there's one thing they want to spend it on, that's critical. So you're not going to move it. So it's barely worth a debate. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.